So last week, some random bloke off the internet contacted me and mentioned something about this thing that he's made. Anyway, he sent one of them to my office and I have it here. So um, what I thought I'd do is a bit of a review of this. Now, this is not product placement. I'm not earning any money from doing this, but if I like it, I might put a link beneath this. Um, but it's to do with physics equations for GCSE and A-level. So um, this is what's in the pack. Now, I haven't even unwrapped it yet, but I thought I'd have a look. So we've got an ICO or ICO equation dice. Um, and it's, I guess, uh, something to do with, it's like a multi-sided dice that helps you learn equations. Okay, so there's a bit of stuff here. Um, this one here, uh, I think actually the graphic design looks quite nice. Uh, Stephen Williams, uh, he's that random bloke off the internet I mentioned. So um, there's more information here, which again, I'll put in the description below, but it includes uh, the website, how to order it and so on. So, should we have a look at it? Uh, inside this rather nice uh, kind of black bag. Okay, if we open this, let's have a look. It's not really that fiddly, it's just me making mess of it. So, here we go. So this is, uh, let's see what it says. It's, um, let's have a look. So. 20 sided dice. Yeah, so it's got 20 equations on it. If I throw this, it comes up with an equation. Um, and hopefully that helps you remember it. Now, TOA, uh, tan is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. That means there must somewhere also on this be uh, a soccer toa. So yeah, so we've got S equals O over H. Uh, and let's see, there's going to be a a C or eight. there we go, uh, cosine equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Okay, so Sokotoa, you need to know about that and it's good to be reminded. I think as a device, let me just zoom in a little bit onto that. Okay, I would say that actually, I think that's really nicely made and the way they've got the letters embossed on it. So I do think as a piece of design, that is absolutely brilliant. So we've got momentum P equals mass times velocity. Um, V equals IR, so a standard one there. You've got the equation that everybody uh, learns about, but it's only maybe kind of kind of covered later in the course of E equals MC squared. Um, I must admit, I am not a fan of formula triangles, okay? I think that they're the thing that, um, I think people maybe rely on them maybe too much at GCSE, and it's not always, it's something that I haven't done in my videos. I don't think any of my videos I've got a formula triangle. I know it helps some maybe weaker students when they're learning new equations, but actually, I think this is, um, I think it's quite nice actually, isn't it? Okay, so looking back, let me just adjust the camera slightly out. Um, also with this, there's um, this rather nice thing that has your kind of the magic triangles, the formula triangles, and it's got a list of all of the equations and what they represent. Um, and actually, I think the graphic design on this is really nice. Like the logo is great. Um, and you can definitely tell that Stephen is a graphic designer who kind of actually makes stuff look really good. So again, if I zoom in onto this, um, these are the equations. I would say that speed equals distance over time. I wouldn't use the D for that. I'd be using S to work, you know, because even at GCSE, we tend to use S for displacement or distance, unless you're in Wales when you use an X for distance. So I'd say probably V equals S over T would probably be more appropriate. Um, everything else though looks correct. And I say that this is definitely the kind of thing that is gonna be more useful, more useful I suppose for A level um, because it has some equations to do with uh, this one here that um, is to do with angular acceleration. We've got an omega squared. So this is centripetal acceleration equals angular velocity squared times the radius. So we've got an omega squared. There's also, I think, a torque equals force times distance. Um, but I suppose for that, we tend to call it moment equals force times distance. Um, and I guess we often use a capital M for moment. I think torque is more an American way of doing that. Um, what else is there? There's a angular velocity, two pi. Um, we've got an omega and a t. So yeah, some stuff here which might, might come up in year 13 if you're looking at rotational dynamics. So overall though, I think that's a pretty nice thing um, to sort of play with and just make sure that you can remember all of these things. So although you might remember the equation, 
Can you remember what everything stands for, the units, and maybe how that's applied? Also in the box, let me zoom out again, there's this other equation dice, and this one here is a student edition. Okay, so this one here, let's have a look at it. Let me just zoom out even more. Uh, so this one has something that you can build yourself. So uh, let me just undo all of that. Okay, that's that's nicely cut out out of the cardboard. It, uh, it comes out really nicely. And I guess the idea with this is that if you're a teacher, you could buy maybe a, a, a lower cost version rather than the kind of the plastic ones here. Um, and I guess you just bend it into shape and glue it all together. And I think the other thing on this, from what I can see, is that the yellow stuff is the trigonometry side of things. Uh, he's used blue for electricity, um, mechanics is in red, and so on. So again, I think this will make one of those. I'll maybe make that in a minute. Um, building instructions here, that's all good. There's a bit about the kind of formula triangles. And actually, this is really useful. So, so this is stuff that, although a lot of it might be given to you, um, or definitely the equations might be given to you in a data book, it does have all of the units or the, the different units that might be used. Um, so I think as a piece of design, um, especially if you're doing something like a DT at A level or even GCSE, this is the kind of thing you should be aiming for. It's really nicely packaged and put together. And then I guess there's also um, this other thing here with a QR code. So let me just have a look at that. So with the QR code, it takes you to uh, stephenwilliamsdesigns.co.uk, which I guess is his website. And again, I think there's probably a link on here where you can buy it. In terms of the price, I'm not quite sure, um, but I'm sure you can buy one. It's not going to be crazily expensive. If you do want one, uh, if you think it's just a nice little thing that you could have, um, maybe if you're a teacher buying some for your students or as a student, just to have something nice and interesting and to do with physics. So yeah, um, it's worth it if you, if you want to. Like I say, I think probably by the time you get to GCSE or A-level, you'll probably know most of these equations and a lot of them are given to you in the formula sheet, but it's just quite a nice little thing that you can have just to um, help your revision and maybe just, uh, I don't know, play some kind of physics games with your friends. I don't know if that's the kind of thing you do. But anyway, uh, yeah, this one over here, uh, the ICO, ICO uh, equation dice. Um, yeah, worth having a look at. Thank you.